There's my tent. My new one, Terra Nova Southern Cross 2. If you look at the guy lines and the the loops, the pegging points, I've uh, I changed them all. I put on two two millimeter Dyneema, which is you know, <laughs> that's the strongest you need. I mean, I mean the tent's going to literally disintegrate before that that two two millimeter Dyneema does anything. You know, that's super strong. Scott's Wild Camper, the wild camping channel for the great outdoors. Our pitch, not the most scenic for that end. It's not too bad. We just had to, this was really one of the few spots where we could find ground that wasn't totally sodden. It just wasn't. This was the best of the bad lot by far, I and mean, it's not a great pitch either, but it'll certainly doable as you can see. We've got two spots. Cup of tea in a Mars bar. That's a little day, mate. I don't think I'm going to have anything else to eat tonight. Just have a wee drink and then do an early night tonight, I think. Feeling a wee bit tired after all my work. Morning, folks. 7.45. Had my usual time of night. Uh, I think uh, we went to bed about half, half nine, quarter to ten. That sort of rolled about. I'm, I'm lying right in the middle of the big mound, the big hump, right in the middle of the, the tent. Uh, I must have gone to sleep. Maybe woke up a few times, drifting in and out of sleep. My usual type of thing. But uh, Mark was telling us we nearly get flooded out. That's where the water came, came to the fact we were, we were almost, Mark says, surrounded by water. <laughs> I must have been sleeping because I, I usually I would have heard, I would have heard somebody moving if I, obviously if I was you know, awake, I would have heard. Anyway, survived.
a lot of people for the we noticed four cars up there so they're obviously from the cars could be for that tent of course but I doubt it there you go look at that don't know much the camera's picking up but that's pretty spectacular This is the Southern Cross 2. This is one of the advantages I like about a uh, fly sheet first tent or all in one tent. It's pouring a rain, and what I've done is I've took the inner tent down, that's perfectly dry. You can pack it away. That's one of the big advantages for me. It's not going to be much of an advantage. Uh, today because we're heading home but if you're on a backpacking trip for four or five days then the ability to, well I think to take the inner tent down keep it dry obviously when you if you're putting up the wet fly sheet it might get a bit wet but it's it's just if you if I packed this away with the fly sheet soaking in the, the bottom of the ground sheet and I packed it all together it's just gonna it is gonna get <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely going to get wet. That's my Terra Nova Southern Cross 2, which I'm going to get rid of that. This is the second time that we've had it out. As we said, we're using our last three nights. So this is the sixth night I've had it out. And there it is from the other side. You can see I've not got any stuff out because it looks rather neat. Dry bags in the corner, as you can see. Some stuff sticking out. That's got my dry dry bags in that corner. With the mat and the sleeping bag. And the way in the other corner. Twenty-five past eight. I don't know what you're. If you can see me, probably best not to. <laughs> it's very windy, so I'm cooking in. Cooking in the porch, which I really like doing, and I've done it a few times. But you know, I prefer cooking outside. I did that last night, even though it was it was windy last night. But it's just a wee bit too windy, you know. Everything's getting blown a bit. Just having a uh, snack, snack stop, stop, <laughs> snack stop, tomato, um, tomato and something. I'm trying to remember. And I'll have a cup of tea, a packet of crisps, and then before we, before I have a, a start in the wee bit of beer and a wee bit of whiskey, not too much the night. So I had a, I had a good, I've had a good skin for the last few, well particularly when we were at the campsite, but well, there you go, my crisps. The 
just going to see it out the night. Hopefully it will die down soon, but it's been like this since we've been pretty windy since we came here. About four or five hours ago. I think the tent, no, the, the, the pole is bending the wrong way. The side of the tent, it's the big side of the tent, the wind's changed direction. The big side of the tent has got the full force of the wind. I think that's the problem. It's also the strength of the wind and also <coughs> it's just hitting in the worst possible direction. But I'll just, uh, I'll just have a noisy night. There you go, folks. The main thing is that the tent protected me. That's what any shelter, that's the basic function of a shelter, is to protect you from the elements. You know, the next thing you want is to be, you know, feel comfortable and safe. Going to Noidart, or are we in Noidart? Yes, yeah, near just enough. Over there. It's just over there. I'll show you the view in a minute. So it's going to be a, a three nighter. Me, Nelson, and Max. And a few midges. And uh, a few million billion midges. Not bad. Not bad.
There's a uh, Nelson likes his cigar. He's got his new cigar lighter. He's got a blow torch. There you go. <laughs> Fire starter. I wonder why he was sticking his head right under the water. <laughs> He must have saw that stick. Max loves sticks. Max, let me have it. Come on. No, oh, you're not playing fair. You want me to throw it, but you're not going to let me have it. <laughs> right, give me it. He wants me to choose him, I think. Ah, give me. I've got it. I've got it. What's your wires, mate? Right. Oh! Onion. Well, that's all right. I didn't even did. I just thought it's onion, Lauren. But that's all right. The onion in it. I smelled it, and I thought. Well. Max, get your balls out of the camera. Right, folks. Tuesday, the thirteenth. We went in the tea room there to, well, get a cup of tea and uh, we use the toilet. And it's uh, shut. There's a notice up saying 13th of June shut till 3.30. So that was that. Again, you're right out in the wilds here. Fantastic. Who lives in a house like that? There's a better look at that, uh, that house. Nelson's next house. Max is trying to drag that. He's trying. It's too heavy, Max. Very Indiana Jones. The rain's getting quite heavy now. It's quite, uh, just gonna let myself get wet. I'll dry off. It's gotten around this way. Bar. There's a Monroe's up there, down there, and I can see another path, a proper path joining on, so that's, that's good news. We've got a mile to go, according to the, the signpost there, and I also asked you, there's a campsite, it's asking you to use to protect, just to protect the area, you know, the wildlife and the vegetation, etc. So I guess we'll use the campsite. There you go. That was a big one for the camera. Lead by exam example, eh? That was a big one for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> we look like a couple of, I mean, do I look worse than you? I mean, you look like you've been through the war. 
Uh, well, I have I? been, and we we're gonna How fight again look, tomorrow. I look, I look you, you look. Fat or do I look bad as well? Oh, you look bad. Do I look shattered? Yeah, you didn't put your makeup on. Oh, Go on, oh. rush, rush with it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thanks to everybody for watching my my videos. Right, that's. It's always a pleasure for us to watch your videos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. That's enough of that. Go on it. That's enough of that. <sighs> it's about 8am. Beautiful morning. Now the lads you can see are just there just about you. Inverry. It's a good hike to Inverry uh, and get their boat back to wherever they're from. Fawn again. There's a wee view. Look at that. Beautiful day. Midges are only too bad if you move a bit. <laughs> Once you stand still, they're on you. But they were bad last night. There it is, West Highland Way and the Rob Roy Way so we've only got what, a mile to go that way <laughs> we've got a mile to go the way we came back in 92 up there do we go straight up aye? straight up innit? straight up, straight up. Close into the forest. right okay that's us warmed up, I think, eh? I'm knackered. You feeling it already? <laughs> I'm getting warmed up. You need to have an old banana. 
In a couple of miles we'll get our bodies, we'll, we'll get used to it. Right, let's get going eh? Let's get going. Quarter past six, we're in Aberfoyle campsite. Uh, I think the last bit of footage you got, I was still, we were still on the on the path up to Aberfoyle, but my camera's been going wonky. Keeps coming up S SD card error. It's obviously the the rain. Uh, we're probably hiking for I think about six hours. We hiked to get to the campsite. And it was well, it was raining the whole six hours. The camera's known it's a waterproof case, so that would uh, that would explain it. That's tiger paws, a J. It's my Southern Cross too, and Jimmy's got a I think it's a hex hex peak, so hex peak. I think we'll have a, have a wee cup of tea in here. There you go, non-residents welcome. So we got to stop here. There's more cabins, they look very nice to be honest. Very nice. Right folks, we've started our hike. Had a wee 20 minutes in the cafe. I don't know if you can see, there's a red squirrel jumping about there. Obviously trying to hide and making a good job of it. I don't know if you caught that, but it was a red squirrel. Too bad I've not got a cup handy. I would go down and take a wee cup of that. You don't need to filter that water. Two miles. Two miles to our destination. Looks like it might be a nice day today. Fingers crossed. I think we've earned it. Heading up. Up to the hills. Through the woods. Look at that. Very Lord of the Rings really.
This is day five. Tuesday, I think. I'm losing track of days, to be honest. I think, I think it's Tuesday. Uh, slept. Obviously, you can see where we where we pitched. That's uh, wild camp number two. We've done in the woods. We're really struggling to find places to camp. Didn't shoot any footage because by the time we got the tent set up, it was well, it was too dark. It was just really, you know. I got my tent set up. I had a, wee a few problems because I couldn't see. Putting it, I put it, <laughs> put the fly sheet on inside, inside out. <laughs> we couldn't get the poles, so I had to take the poles out and the poles I could get in and do it again. And then I had another the sort of the tension strap was in the outside, so I had a few, <laughs> I had a few problems getting the tent up just because of the light, really. A lack of light. We had our we had a good hour, hour and ten minute break. Something to eat. A wee look at the hotel grounds and that. So, we're back on the road. The heart of Scotland. There you go. This is Thursday, day six. We had real problems finding the pitch last night. And here it is that was suitable. I say suitable, my I'm like up now. It's basically like a 30 degree angle. So I was sliding down the tent all night, but nothing you can do. You had to, we had to get you know, we had to get a shelter set up, so that was it. Up in the hills again. Look at that. It's the hills peeking up over the mist. Lovely jubbly. There you go folks, we were in there for a good hour and twenty minutes and we had a three course meal and a pint. You nearly really killed the lamb today, didn't you? Yeah. The lamb was lying in the road with his legs. I've done a lamb. crow. You've done a crow. Oh, done a crow. <laughs> You've done a crow. Do you want to tell me this story? I will I'll tell you the story. It was eating another dead crow or something on the uh, road and it never got up quick enough. I was in the transit van and it like went to fly up. Normally they're quite quick. And then I just looked in my wing mirror and it was just you could just see a couple of wings kind of like the rest was stuck in the road. <laughs> <laughs> was it wingtips like that? <laughs> that, that final act of defiance. I'll have one of my beers. I'm going to take one of mine. What do you want to bet? Anything you want. I, um, I've got, oh, I can top heart. that, right? I used to deliver um, like furniture, like catalogue stuff, you know? Up here, no, the east, uh, the west coast, mm. airshare and all that. This is how I got the love of Scotland. It's 
when I come back from Hong Kong, I was driving a big um, transit Luton van, you know, with the big air dam on the roof. No. It was like a, uh, it's three and a half ton or something, you know, you know what I mean. No. And I was with this kid was helping us one day, as young, like 16 year old, just doing a school, you know. And I said, take him with you, like, because he's got some televisions right there install. Cheers. I was delivering big massive yeah. tellies. Remember when big tellies had the big backs on them? Aye. Aye, the big I'm going back like 14, yeah, yeah. So I had to deliver about six or seven of them on the East Coast and of course we're in the all of the bloody tenements it's upstairs. Anyway, I was driving through the country roads and I was belting along, I was properly shifting. And all of a sudden I was like, Christ! And there was about 10 pheasants in the middle of the road. You know what I mean? I had to sit in the middle of the road and I all flew up, right? And I hit every one of them at <laughs> the, <top of>, <laughs> the top of the van. Boom, 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 boom. I'm going, Jesus. I stayed up with 80 miles an hour in this bloody van. And this kid's like, what the hell? And I stopped, right? And we went back and I, every one of them was dead. I, hit, I got every one of them, 10 of them. Jesus. Ridiculous. I'm going to put music with this. Some of the blue complain. Oh, it's a murderer. Oh, you feel it? Aye, that's the one. But what I did was, right, I resuscitated them all and all came back to life and flew away. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Lived happily ever after. <laughs> yeah.